Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will be learning how to reverse a number. So, a number will be given to you 1, 2, 3. So, you will be reversing it. So, after reversing it, it will be 3, 2, 1. Uh, let's take some other example like 6, 7, 8. So, after reversing it, it will be 8, 7, 6. Similarly, 8, 1, 2, it will be 2, 1, 8. Right. So, it's basically just to reverse a number, right? So, the approach will be, uh, let me just, you know, store this, okay, store this in some variable n, and then reverse number will be storing it in r. So, first step, what the first step will be, you will be taking this last digit, then you will be joining with the reverse then you will be removing this again you will be taking the last digit you will be joining with the reverse then you will be removing this again you will be taking the last digit then you will be joining with the reverse and then you will be removing this so basically three steps are there the first step is basically to take the last digit so extracting extracting last digit is the first step the second step is basically to join join with the reverse reverse number right so the third step is basically to remove the last digit right so let's have a look at this extracting the last digit so let's say a number is given to you one two three only and uh, i want you to take the last digit so how you will be taking the last digit using modulo 10 so doing this operation it will be giving three but how see modulo operator basically takes the remainder right so 1, 2, 3, if it is divided by 10, it will be 12.3. So the remainder is always the last digit, right? So let's say 5, 6, 7 divided by 10, 5, 6.7. So the remainder is 7. So 5, 6, 7 modulo 10 will be giving 7, which is the last digit so a number if i am doing modulo 10 with that number i will be getting the last digit right so keep this point in mind now join with the reverse right so reverse will be currently having something let's say 3 2 is already there but i have to convert this 3 2 into 3 2 1 basically i have to add this one right so how you will be doing that so first of all you will be like creating a space then you will be filling that space with this digit but like how to create the space basically you will be placing zero here then you will be adding this number so how to place zero here so it's basically 32 into 10 this will be creating the space and then adding this number adding one in this case i'm going to add one adding this number fills the space with this digit right so let's say 32 is there and i have to add one like i have to join one so 32 into 10 plus the digit that is one it will be giving this right so this is also done it is basically to join with the reverse right so reverse will be reverse number into 10 plus the digit the digit that you have to add so first step is done second step is done and third step 
remove the last digit how to remove the last digit let's say a number is given one two five right uh, I want you to remove this five how you will be doing that of course after dividing it by 10 you will be like 12.5 will be there but if you take the integer part it will be only 12 right so removing last digit is very simple like n is actually equals to n divided by 10 so doing this operation the last digit will be removed so see basically you took the last digit of n using this operation you actually joined that digit with the reverse right and then you actually remove that digit now you are doing this in a loop like you are doing this like you are actually extracting this placing it and then deleting it again extracting the last digit placing it deleting it right you are doing it in a loop so uh, the pseudo code will be the pseudo code will be looking something like this uh, a number will be given to you right n is the number let's say now I'm going to maintain the reversed number right so at first I'm actually placing 0 right so I'll be like while n is greater than 0 that means while n is having some number I'll be taking the digit first of all int digit is actually what what is the digit n modulo 10 right it's basically the last digit it basically gives the last digit so reverse will be equals to reverse into 10 plus this digit digit right and then you're going to remove that digit right so how to remove the last digit from n n will be equals to n divided by 10 that's it for the code and uh, you are basically printing sorry rev and this will be carrying your reversed value so let's write the code now int n you are getting the input in reverse this will be storing the reversed integer while n is greater than 0 this loop will be running that means something is there in the end so we'll just get the last digit that will be n modulo 10 right now add this digit to the reverse how we will be adding this reverse digit will be reverse into 10 plus last digit right but before ending the iteration I would like to basically remove this last digit that I have taken so how to remove this how to remove the last digit from n n will be equals to n divided by 10 right so that's how you will be in teacher okay that's how you will be getting the answer so I print this uh, I didn't give an input okay I'm giving one two four let's say so it should come four two one okay it's coming four two one let's give something else like one two three four five so it should come five four three two one right let's run this okay five four three two one so it's working so that's it for today's video if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and see ya until next time